Hi guys, Sanji Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, I'm back. So, we finished up this altered file folder, vintage style and mixed media style. Um, but we're going to make some tags to go in it. But remember I told you that I was going to have some tags. I have a bunch of tags that I've created for junk journaling, like a lot. And since I'm not junk journaling anymore, and what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start when I art journal, I'm going to start calling it art journaling, mixed media, slash junk journaling. So I'm going to start doing things where I am going to start putting more pockets and things like that when I do some of my art journaling so that I can throw in all these cool tags and stuff and we can call it a junk journal too. So it'll be like an art journal slash junk journal. We'll have a combo. Um, which I've kind of been doing that, but lately I haven't been doing stuff with pockets so I can like put tags and stuff in. Anyway, let me just show you this one here. So this section of the file folder. Isn't that look cool, you guys? Okay, so I'll just pull out some things. Now, this stuff isn't art, isn't um, like mixed media tags. Um, these are just my junk journal tags, but I'm going to make mixed media tags. We're going to make three today, and we'll stuff them in these pockets. But I wanted my pockets full of cool stuff. So, just to show you. This is, um, this right here is a book page with another book page uh, sewn on it. I sewed all this with the sewing machine. It's all been coffee dyed. These are some library cards that have been coffee dyed. And then a tag I made out of scrapbook paper probably. But isn't that a cool idea to make a tag out of uh, book pages? Sewing together like five or six book pages. This is a uh, cellophane envelope, which I got at Hobby Lobby. And I just got like a little receipt in there. This is cool. This right here is... Um, it's from a soap package of some soaps I bought, and I just loved it. So I um, made copies of these, so I have a ton of them. This is, um, oh, this is a pattern, Pete, like a pattern, inside the pattern, like instructions how to make something, and then I put it on a piece of cardstock and then sewed it with the sewing machine. So all this goes in here. So if you're into junk journaling and you want to be into art journaling or vice versa, you can do it all together. Let's mix this stuff up, people. Again, another one of those tags um, that I sewed around. I put a piece of cardstock, and then this is pattern instructions, butterick. Now, I could have put a um, hole here and did a piece of, you know, whatever, lace or whatever, or... I have some other things I could do to this at the top, which I probably will. Here's another one of those tags made out of the pattern pieces. Another one of those soap tag things, but I made copies of them. This went around soap, but um, I took them off right away and made copies because I just loved how it looked. Remember, we have three different pockets. One, two, three. Okay, this is a really beautiful tag. Isn't that gorgeous? This is just a beautiful um, black woman. Is it a black woman? Yeah. Is this Dorothy Danridge? Yes. I think this is this is Dorothy Danridge. Um, she was a beautiful black actress, and I'm not sure what years that was. It was like the 40s, I think. Anyway, anyway, look her name up. Dorothy Danridge. Um, beautiful, beautiful black woman, and um, she was a beautiful singer. And um, I used her picture here, and then I did all kinds of lace and uh, all kinds of stuff. Use a lot of laces and little doily pieces and stuff. And lace down here and I backed it with some music note paper and I sewed a lot of it on. I think I hot glued this part. Anyway, came out gorgeous. Another one of those tags that I was talking about. And then this was just from, um, I, I buy a lot of books that have cool pages that look kind of vintage. And I'll, you know, coffee dye them or tea dye them. This is coffee dye, and then I sewed around it. Again, I probably should put a hole there and then put some raffia or lace or something um, there. Or a little piece of fabric like I did here, you know. Okay, then in this middle part... I have, I think, because remember there's a pocket right here. I have one tag, I think, in the middle. Yeah, I did one tag. And this is a tag that I made. This is a uh, library pocket that I made out of a piece of um, cardstock that I sewed and coffee dyed. 
And then this is from the Sears catalog. I copied it onto this brown cardstock. This you make by taking, um, this is a Tim Holtz um, embossing folder. You put like a piece of paper like this, piece of cardstock in the embossing folder, emboss it, and then I just took my um, Tim Holtz Distress inks and just went like this over it. Isn't that pretty? And it makes the most beautiful little tag. So that's in there. And I did this tag the same way through the Tim Holtz. And this is what I was talking about. Like at the top of my tags, you could do like a piece of raffia or you could take like a little pin like this and just take little bits of fabric. See? And take a little pin pin it all together and then on the bottom just hot glue it on. But that's what I want to do on those bigger tags I was talking about. Anyway, little things like that. And then that can just go right back into this pocket. And then this right here, make sure you go just to there. This is a uh, book that I made. This is another file folder. I probably should do this as a um, video. Okay, this is another file folder, see? So this file folder, I went crazy and I, um, well, first of all, I took a piece of pa the pattern pieces and I sewed that on the top of here. And then I did a lot of stitching all over it. See, I did some stitching, some zigzag stitching all over it. And then I took a piece of, and I layered this, there's this picture underneath it that's several layers of laces and fun fur and then buttons. And I first, I coffee dyed the file folder. And on the edge of the file folder, I have these little, I, I printed these out myself, a bunch of really cool sayings. It says, keep calm and love Paris. And then I sewed that. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. On my computer, I just, I've seen a lot of stamps that I love. Take life one cup at a time. And so with fancy, with like fancy, a really fancy print on your, um, on your computer, just choose, you know, at the top, something fancy. I forgot which one this was. And then I typed it out, and I typed it out three different times. So I can just cut these out and use these in my mixed media, in my junk journaling, on cards, whatever. Uh, love this. Keep calm and stamp. Dream until dreams come true. Keep calm and let go. So you can do this yourself, okay? And so you can get a million little sayings without having to buy so many stamps. Like this stamp says, be your own kind of beautiful. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is a good idea. Also, if you want, you can coffee dye it. Like this one says, uh, vintage lady, just so vintage, beautifully vintage. But look, I coffee dyed it. So it looks real vintage. Okay. Just want to share that with you. So open this up and inside of this file folder, I just put a couple little postcards. This postcard here, I think is gorgeous. I'm not sure where I got it. Probably Olivia, Olivia Hernandez. She usually gave me these beautiful postcards. Olivia, do you recognize that? Anyway, I also uh, did a little sewing around it, zigzag sewing. And then this is another beautiful tag. I think Olivia gave me both these both of these. Made this one into a tag, did some zigzag sewing around it, and one of my little beautiful uh, little, you know, the little words I just showed you. So that's pretty. And that all is in here. And then these are awesome. I'm Again, I need to put holes in these and... Um, do some raffia or uh, lace coming out of the top of these, but aren't these gorgeous? This is a show here in Las Vegas, and it's next to a show that we like to go see all the time. And I can't think of where it's at. It's in the Palazzo. Um, anyway, it's this really cool looking show, which I want to go see. Um, but they always have these beautiful advertisements. Look at these. They're gorgeous. So I always like grab a few of them. <laughs> they have a few different girls on them. I just think they look so pretty and vintage and they look so good in my junk journals or my art journals. So I grab a few. Let's just be honest. Well, it's not stealing. They're free. So yeah, I just grab a few. Okay, so let's go through and now make some tags, some art, some uh, mixed media tags. So I'm going to put this away. Now, this is really cool and I love doing this. Instead of... You know, I could buy stuff to make tags, right? But let's not. Let's use our junk mail. Isn't that so much better? So, um, this is my junk mail, and I'm using that. So this is just different advertisement, and it's nice cardstock, right? Really nice cardstock. So that's what we are doing. So you can recycle and make tags. 
Okay, so we're gonna do all three of these like at the same time as far as like getting our base done. All right. Let me get my homemade Mod Podge together. Okay, so here we go. Let's do some, start out with some book pages like we always do. All right, here we go. I'm just taking off the white part off of this book, off these book pages. All right. And you know what I'm gonna do too is I'm going to, um, just want to be careful with how much glue I get on my table because my table will be all gluey. Um, when I glue things down, I'm going to go over the edges because otherwise I would have need to paint these white. So if you want to before, especially if you're using something like this, you can go ahead and use some gesso or white paint and paint them white first. but I'm not worrying about it. So I'm just gonna go over the edge. So at the end, I'll have to cut off the edges. And let's just, you know what, actually, let's just, yeah, we'll do everything at one time. I'm trying to figure out ways so that I don't have a gooey mess on my table. There we go, we'll just kind of clean up as we go along. Okay. And we're going to do all the same steps at one time, but I'm going to remove these and I'll just work in the middle here. It'll be much easier for me. I was feeling claustrophobic. Um, this is so cool, you guys. This is from a, um, what is this from? A Sears catalog. And I made copies and I copy dyed it. Copy dyed it. How you copy dye paper is if you've never done it, it's just you dip, um, I get like a big um, cookie tray and um, I fill it full of coffee. And then I just dip a bunch of whatever's, like the stuff like I just said, music note paper, book pages. This is from the Sears catalog that I made copies of because I was going to keep my main copy, so I keep making copies of the Sears catalog pages. And you just dip it, put a bunch on, dip it in the coffee, and then take another um, cookie sheet, throw it on the cookie sheet. You keep doing that till you get a nice little pile going. And then just bake in the oven for like, I don't know, on 300 for like a few minutes. You have to kind of watch it. So... That's what I like to do. You know what? This needs to come down a little bit. And over. There we go. Music notes, that's what I want to use. So we'll do some music notes right there. And what else? I just found this. This is a whole bag full of a bunch of cool little background pieces. So we're going to use something from here. 
Ooh, I like this. This little 45 cent piece. Fabulous. Looks like a little Tim Holtz piece, maybe. Whatever. Um, what else? Yeah, we'll do some more music notes. Okay, so we got our little background going on this. Let's put this to the side. And then we're going to clean this up, the glue up here, so we don't have a gluey mess going on. We'll do another one. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's continue on with that same one because I have more layers. Okay. Let me look at the time situation. Okay, we're doing good. go to my next layer and my next layer is going to be um, just the same as we did before some um, scrapbook paper geez I couldn't get that out of my mouth but we don't have as much to cover Oh, there's not as much space, so these tags will go pretty quick. And what else? A little bit of map. Okay, perfect. We're probably good with that. And then let's do some napkins. There's a little bit of napkin there. We'll put that there. That looks cool. Um, my favorite, the watches. I rarely ever use these black ones, these black um, clocks. We're going to do it. We're going to divide it in half. There we go. Yeah, that looks cool. And then, look how gorgeous this napkin is. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I need to, um, this napkin is, has its layers on it still. So what I do is I take a piece of tape like this and I just go like that and it removes that layer of napkin. And you can do it again if there's another layer. There's another layer, is there another layer or not? I don't know. Yep, there is. All right. So, get another piece of tape. And I like to usually put it on the corner like that, and it just lifts, see, lifts that, those layers right up. Okay. Out there. And I like this little piece right here. Looks kind of Paris-like, this little piece here. 
And I always tell you guys, I love napkins because you can see right through them. They're nice and translucent. So whatever is underneath it just comes up underneath and it gives you so much good layering. And I thank you guys for all the compliments of saying you love how I layer things. I just think that that's the magic is all the layers and then um, being able to see underneath all the layers. I, I think that that just is what makes this type of work, in my opinion. Okay, so we're going to let this tag go. And once this all dries, see all that? I'll cut it around. But look how pretty that looks already. Just like that, it looks pretty. Okay. Let's go to tag number two. Fresh tag. And what we'll do is, what, this is what I'm going to do on the back of the tags. I mean, I could do mixed media on the back of the tags, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to do mixed media on the back. I'll paint the, t the back of the tags black with some black acrylic paint. So that's a quick, easy way of doing it where you don't have to um, also do any mixed media on the back. Unless you want to. But for the sake of this video, uh, we're not. We don't have time for all that. Okay. This is how I work. I take my layers like this and I just put this layer now on the bottom. And now my layer, my beginning layer is back at the top, which is all of, I'll show you all of the basic stuff like this kind of stuff all right we'll use this piece first Ooh. that was when my beautiful brushes got into the glue it's like uh no So I'm just putting glue around along this whole entire tag. So all those layers that we did basically on the pages we just did is the same techniques we're basically going to use on all of this. We may or may not use them all. We'll see. Like I would like to take this instead of using, I would like to just use a stain on all of this. Just a light brown stain and leave it. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? So that's what we might do on that one. Okay, look how this is curling up. What the hell? All right, come back down. There you go. I had one of these pieces of um, cardstock from the mail. Um, cardstock junk mail I guess I'll call it that wasn't as thick as the others and I think this is one of them yeah it's not as thick as the other ones were but I'm forever trying to collect um, I'm forever trying to collect uh, just always collecting my junk mail to use it for um, to save it and use it for um, what is this um, tags or art cards. You can call these art cards too. They could be tags. They could be art cards. And these are really fun to make, I think, to um, give us gifts to your, especially your artsy, your crafty friends. Make up a bunch of art cards and send them out for fun. Send them out for Christmas. This whole project would be a beautiful Christmas gift or a birthday gift to make somebody one of these altered file folders. Yeah, I think I'll be making some of these for gifts this year for my for my YouTube friends. Especially to my friend who, get, who told me about, well, I've been making some stuff like this, but I hadn't done it for a while. 
and she's like Angela it's in style to do stuff with those file folders like you were doing last year or a couple years ago I go oh people are doing that she's like yeah where you been I'm like under a rock um, so and she loves this kind of stuff so Olivia you will be getting probably um, not probably you will be getting something like this for your birthday an alter file folder with all the goodies in it probably with more vintage ladies because you like all the vintage like I do too all the vintage ladies that would be perfect okay so this is good here we're done with all of the this stuff let's go on to um, let's go on to scrapbook paper scrapbook paper up that we didn't use last time All right. bring that right there I don't know why but that's like that big piece right there just it's, it's a map and it just looks cool yeah that's going there it's like that it must go there here's some more map which I just love I don't want to cover up everything there we go and we'll kind of stack this map on top of this map so I don't cover up everything let me get the taste of both of those let me look at my time situation. Um, you guys, what we'll do is um, we'll finish this one up. We're not going to get to the third one. The third one I'll do off camera, just so we don't have, um, just so we don't put this into a third video. Okay, so that's good with the. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be good. That's going to be good with the scrapbook paper. I mean a third video. I, I want to finish this part of doing the backgrounds and the tags. All the stuff we have to paste down in this video. Um, I don't want to stretch it to another video. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Hopefully you understand what the heck I just said. When you're making videos how I'm making them, and I'm not fast forwarding everything, um, there's no time to mess around. You know what I'm saying? You gotta like, that's why I'm, sometimes it's like I'm rushing. I'm not trying to rush. You just have so much time in a video. and People can't be here forever. You know, and my video, my, and I already, you know, make things stretch out for seven or eight videos sometimes, like this whole project is. So, anyway, just let you know, I am very aware of the time for each video. This is gorgeous right here. We're gonna put that right here. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad I busted out with this napkin. So pretty. I need to look through my stash and grab some more of those. Okay. Look how pretty this looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and let these dry. We're going to come back and we'll do some more layers on our tags. Um, and I'll have this other tag finished up. Um, hopefully, that's going to be fine and not glue down. Um, yeah, we should be fine. So that's it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and finish this tag up off camera. Come back and we'll um, do some more layers. Okay, guys? All right, you guys, if you've subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll talk to you guys next video. Bye.